Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you this evening. We're going to talk about something that's not, I don't know, not a very fun topic, but it's a very important topic, and that is in dealing with RV loans. A lot of misinformation out there, um, and maybe it gets a little complicated. And basically, it's, it's pretty simple. It basically comes down to your credit score, your income, your debt, and how much down payment you have. So those are some of the criterias, but let's start with, okay, well, what's the length of the loan? RV loans, contrary to what some people might tell you, RV loans are not just 10, 12, 15, or 20 years. They can go as low as four years. If you want to get a good gauge for the terms, rates, and so forth, uh, you can go to USAA, just uh, search USAA RV loans, and that will give you, you can look on there, they actually have a chart, and they will base the chart off of good, a uh, fair, good, and excellent credit. And that will give you kind of an idea of where you might stand. Um, with theirs, of course, they're gonna start at four years and they go up to at least, uh, they, will, they even have 20 year loans. Their 20 year loans start at over $100,000. Um, so that'll give you a good basis now, uh, because we're such a large dealership and we push a lot of paper, meaning to the banks, our rates are going to be as good as their rates, if not even better. And it, when you're talking about, let's say, 50000 and plus in loans, uh, our rates, we can actually, in terms, we can it, beat what USAA goes, because if you have something that's over $50,000, as far as a loan value, we can get you 20 years on that particular uh, amount of money. But uh, let's talk about the tax deductibility. Because again, misinformation out there, not all RV loans are tax deductible as of today. That all changed December of 2017 when the new la tax law was put in place. Written in that code was the fact that only motorized RVs are considered a tax write-off as a second home. So right now, any of you that have RV loans and they were tax deductible last year, they're not gonna be this year. Or if you're looking to buy something and it's a towable, it is not tax deductible this year. Now, the, um, the RV Manufacturer Association, they are working hard in trying to get that little oversight from the tax law changed. So hopefully here in the near future, that would be resolved and then it would be revert back. But, you know, in the past, I've had people that have gone out and got a car loan for an RV. And if you know, if you get, if you go to your bank or credit union and they structure the loan as a car, car loan, meaning you're going to get a better interest rate than you would if it was an RV loan, it is not tax deductible anyway. So, and typically when people are doing that, you're getting a shorter term loan. You're going to probably be anywhere from three to maybe six years. And most of my customers that did that, they were three to five years that they were doing it. So, um, that's another way you could do it. Now, let's talk about how they determine the length of the loan. The length of the loan is determined by the amount of the loan. And so, you know, if you're, if you're under uh, $25,000, uh, you're typically going to be, you're going to be typically up to about 12 years. So, I mean, if you're looking for the the most amount of time that you could find this thing under $25,000 you're going to be at the 12 year mark if you're going to go over 25,000 then you'll be at the 15 you have the, the option of going to 15 years and then again once you get over 50,000 um, then you're going to have an option of going for 20 years so that is on the length of the loans now when they're looking for down payments banks want to see some of your equity in in the vehicle and the amount of money that you put down will affect the rate as well meaning that typically they want to see a minimum of 10 percent down but if you're putting 30 or 40 percent uh, down you're going to get a considerably better rate um, on top of that they do also structure the loan according to the value of the unit that you're buying so if you're overpaying for something obviously you're going to end up having to put more money down. Now let's talk about your credit score. Contrary to what some people might tell you, you do not need to have a mortgage to get an RV loan. 
That is the furthest thing from the truth. Um, you could be renting and it's not going to affect you. What, what the banks are looking for is if you're going to be coming in and you're trying to get a, get a $40,000 loan on an RV, what they're going to look for not only is your credit score, your income to debt, but they're going to look and see, okay, what's the high credit that they've ever had? If you have never had something that was forty or fifty thousand dollars a loan in your name, well, you're not going to qualify, or you're going to have a hard time. You'll probably pay a much higher interest rate if you do qualify for that uh, size of a loan. So those are some things that they look at. Also, contrary to what some people might tell you, you don't need a seven hundred credit score to get an RV loan. Um, there are second chance banks, depending on your credit. You know, if you're down, let's say about a 600, 625 score, there are, and even sometimes in the high fives. Again, there's a lot of variables that deal with this, but there are second chance banks that will give you a loan. Understand that the interest rate's gonna be high and the term of the loan is gonna be 10 years or under. So, you know, it is possible. So back to the tax deductibility, make sure that you understand that as of right now, the uh, tax deduction for towables is not uh, in play right now. So hopefully that kind of clears the air and gives you an idea. Like I say, USA, go on check their rates. That's gonna give you a great ballpark as far as where the rates fall as of today. I mean, this year rates have changed several times. So keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I, you know, I appreciate you watching, but let's get on now to what the giveaway is for this week. And because the response the last time was so favorable, I've decided to keep it simple again this time. And, I, and I'm working on getting some uh, aftermarket uh, sponsors to go ahead and give me some actual RV stuff that we can give away. But as of for right now, I'm just digging in my own pocket and I am giving you guys a chance to win something. And I do that to give back because I do appreciate the fact that you watch the comments, thumbs up, all that stuff, and all your feedback. So what I'm doing this time is I'm going to give a $50 gift card to Outback Steakhouse. And uh, hopefully the lucky winner on that will go out and enjoy a steak on me. Um, and just a couple things I need for you in order to qualify for this giveaway. I'm going to need to have you put a comment down below, but you also got to subscribe to the page. So hit the subscribe button. It should be down just down below one of these corners. I forget which side it's on. Uh, just hit the subscribe, subscribe button. And if you want to get notified of when I'm putting new videos on it, there's a little bell right next to the subscribe. If you click that, what that does, anytime that I post a new video, whenever you turn your computer on, you'll get a little um, message on your computer that I have, or once you actually sign into a Google or Bing or whatever you do, um, a little message will come up that I put up a new video. But uh, I appreciate everybody.